What's up, guys? My name's Anthony, and we're about to explore what comes next for the Chainlink's price, as it's become uncharacteristically volatile after it's posting its brand new all-time high at $4.62. In this video, you'll learn how this pump differs from the one we had back in June of 2019, hear about the next probable support and resistance levels moving forward, and hear about two new partnerships that have just been announced. But as always, I want to thank our new and returning subscribers for supporting the channel and explain what we do here. Crypto Ride helps you safely navigate the world of cryptocurrency investing through news stories, technical analysis videos like this one, and project reviews. So if you're passionate about Chainlink, crypto investing in general, and or just passionate about achieving financial freedom, make sure to join our growing community by subscribing to this channel in the bottom right corner of your screen. Let's go. During the last technical analysis video we put out about Trainlink, I was talking a lot about this double bottom pattern that we were seeing on the one week time frame. And what I had said is that we were seeing an Eve and Adam bottom with Eve taking a little bit longer and Adam being a little bit shorter. Now this pattern started all the way back in July 2019 after we had our previous all-time high of $4.58. And what we were talking about was the measured move coming out of it. And I'm just going to show you basically you take the neckline to the lowest valley and place that up top. And what I said in that video was if this measured move played out to a T, we would see a high of roughly $4.60. And the craziest thing happened because after that video, you know, that was right after this candle, just for the record, when that was put out. And then all of this happened. We came to our brand new high just yesterday on February 15th. And we hit, as I mentioned in the intro, $4.62. So in my opinion, this move is basically over at this point. You know, once patterns are confirmed, and prices break out, they don't always go exactly to where you think they will. Um, sometimes they'll get close. But to me, this pattern is done as we have just really hit this parabolic motion upwards, very similar to what we saw back here. But let's talk a little bit about how this pump here differs from the last one. And as we talk about this extremely parabolic pump that we had in June of 2019, I just want to talk about the two catalysts for it. And the first one being the Coinbase listing itself. When this project got listed on Coinbase, we saw a massive pump and that was on June 28th, which you can see is right here. And by the way, we have moved to the daily candle. So here was the listing. It continued up. And then what I want to point out is this extremely long spike and very clear top that we saw here at $4.58. Now, around the same time that came out, this was earlier in June, Chainlink was also talking about Google and how they'll be integrating Chainlink into their approach to smart contract adoption. So that was all extremely bullish news. And this was right around the time that I discovered Chainlink and started getting into it. But of course, I didn't buy at the top. I waited for it to come down and I'm not going to be buying at the top during this pump either. But the other thing I want to talk about about this pump is how it did come down and correct. We saw this all time high then we saw a lot of volatility and eventually we did come and fall back through the uptrend that was established earlier and we fell a lot lower. But what I wanted to talk about in this video was how this pump differs. And one of the main things I want to say at this point in history is that I do believe we're at the beginning of a new alt season. I think that 2020 could be potentially the biggest year for cryptocurrency ever with the Bitcoin halving coming up which I've covered in previous videos also. And the fact that Chainlink has been a leader for the last two years and continues to show such incredible strength. Even today, it's been volatile. But if you take a look at the rest of the market, uh, many coins have fallen further. So Chainlink continues to show signs of strength. And I think that's a good thing. And the other thing I want to talk about is, you know, we're going to talk about some news, some new partnerships with Ox and swipe at the end of this video so stick around but these are you know they're great partnerships but they are smaller scale projects as compared to google so this pump i do believe is a lot more natural as we're seeing Chainlink become more and more adopted and really establish itself as one of the juggernauts in the cryptocurrency ecosystem and so let's just talk about this now 
again, we don't have that clear spike, that really clear spike. When you see something like this, that indicates a clear top. So I'm not 100% convinced that this is over. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that we're going to make another all-time high tomorrow or the next day, but we're really going to see what happens come Monday. Um, but right now, you can definitely see that we are above the 50 day, above the 200 day, which is really by definition means we're in a bull market. We are well above our new uptrend, which was established back on January 3rd. And things are just looking really positive all around for this cryptocurrency right now. But there is one negative thing that I want to point out, and that is in the RSI momentum indicator. I do want to point out that we are near the 80% mark, which means we are extremely overbought right now at 79 and that's on the daily. What I want to show you as I go back in time here, this was the last pump and you can see we were extended and we were extended above into that 70 and 80%, but we were only there from June 26th through July 5th. So what I want to point out to you is right now, February 6th, and we're still above there. Now it's February 16th, going to be probably February 17th by the time you watch this. I do want to point out that this is not sustainable long term. So I do expect the RSI to come down. And what that means is we'll probably also see the price come down a little bit as well along with it. Do I expect it to crash quite as hard as it did here? No, I don't, but I would not be surprised in the slightest to see it fall. First of all, I wanna talk about a couple of different price levels that I think we could see. And you can see these green lines that I have drawn and what they are is they are potentially going to be serving as areas of support if the price falls. And the most critical area of support that needs to hold is this white line. But on the way down, we have established a few here. I want to talk about $4.31, $3.87, and $3.30 as potential levels of support as this thing starts to move back down, if it starts to move back down. And of course, no one has a crystal ball, but I'm trying to just tell you what is very probable if we do correct, all right? And so what I also want to talk about, I see I have higher low written here. So I do want to just talk about how we have seen higher lows and higher highs, which is just, um, just a great thing to see on a chart. And it's something that you want to see in a healthy chart during a bull market. So what do I mean by that? You can see these higher lows and higher highs as we go through here. So um, here is one low, here's a higher low, Here's a higher low, higher low, and potentially what we're flirting with right now is potentially going to be a higher low. Either that or we'll see some continued volatility and then the price fall down to one of the levels I mentioned before. Now, along with those higher lows, we're also seeing higher highs. This is the higher high here. This is the higher high here. And of course, we hit the all-time high yesterday, as I mentioned, at $4.62. I want to show you how we're just stepping up looks a lot like a staircase right now, right? So we're taking the steps up. And I also went ahead and measured the length of each of these stairs, and I found that they were somewhat similar, although this one was shorter than this one. But if this trend were going to continue, um, I would expect to see a smaller leap up, a smaller step, because what's happening now is we're starting to become overextended, we're overbought, and I do believe we are nearing the high. So I would expect this to be a little bit lower. And I think we may peak out. If we go higher, maybe somewhere around $4.85. That's if we go up. If we go down, like I mentioned before, keep an eye on these price levels, which would be $4.31, $3.87, $3.35, and of course, this major trend line but two minutes ago, I mentioned a few new partnerships. So let's just dive down into those. And Ox is a member of the DeFi economy. So Chainlink has some hours ago, this is a few days ago, announced its partnership with Ox, the liquidity API powering the DeFi economy to bring new decentralized exchange functionality to users. And I went on and read here, I'm not going to read this word for word, but you can pause it and do that. But basically they are releasing a stop limit order function. They're going to be obtaining their price feeds from the decentralized oracles provided by Chainlink. 
So that's a great thing. Just another um, strong cryptocurrency project. Ox is another project I am invested in. And the second announcement we heard this week was from a company called Swipe. And Swipe is a wallet application that grants users access to buy, sell, and pay with more than 20 digital cryptocurrencies. And Chainlink is going to enable the Swipe platform to access Chainlink's decentralized price feed oracles, especially its ETH and USD price reference contract and a custom-built decentralized price reference network for their native token. So this is just another place uh, where you have an app in the world that is seeking uh, an oracle, a true decentralized oracle to really obtain accurate information and Chainlink will be able to do that. Like I said in the past multiple times, Chainlink is middleware software and it has the ability to partner and work with almost any company that requires factual data. I mean, the potential use cases for this thing are limitless and it's it's insane. And that's why I'm just so bullish on it overall. Let me know in the comment section below, do you think we're going to see another all-time high sometime next week or do you think four dollars and 62 cents is it in the short term also please like this video if you have found value in the content and share it with a friend as it really does help our channel grow invest safely never put in more than you can afford to lose enjoy the ride and i'll see you in the next video